Okay, so today what we've got is a John 1979 John Deere Trail Fire 440 air cooled sled and it's having bogging problems when you open the throttle wide open. It runs great at lower idle and so I'm assuming it's a plug jet. Very simple thing to fix. I'm going to tear into the carburetor and just see what it is. Okay, so first thing I need to do is get the carburetor out of there and I may need to take out the intake silencer or I may be able to get the carburetor off of there without actually having to take it off. Alright, so I got the clamp loose. Let's see if I can actually get it off here without taking the silencer off. Uh, yep, apparently I can. Uh, there. That wasn't as bad as I had expected. Okay, so I'm gonna just take it off right here, and that's interesting. Uh, a little bit of fuel leaking out of the carburetor, it looks like. And that screw wasn't exactly tight either. Okay. Since I can't get this off, I can't check for debris under there because this pin doesn't actually come out here. So, okay, I'm going to have to take the top off here. Okay, so I am seeing light clear on through this, so I know it's not bogging at full throttle because of a plug main jet. Okay, so I did actually figure out that this comes out. It looked like this end was slightly ballooned out and wouldn't fit through there, but it does come out, so that means now I can get this off. Because under this is the part of the carburetor where the fuel comes in. This is the fuel inlet. Okay, so you can probably see the inlet is clean in there. At least this part is. So I'm going to take this and clean it out with compressed air. Okay. Okay, so I blew air into all the passages, cleaned everything out. And I guess I'll just reassemble it then.
Now comes the painful part of trying to get it back in there with the intake silencer in the way. Alright, so not sure how well this is going to work. I got it into the intake silencer there. Now I'm going to try to push it back far enough to get it into uh, the intake. There we go. Okay, so it's back in. Not as bad as I was expecting. I probably need to replace the rubber boot on the intake silencer though because the boot is cracked and so it's letting a little air leak in. Alright, so I got the work done. I took it out on a test ride and it has no high speed bog anymore. So apparently the little chunk that was in the carburetor that I got out um, was blocking up the fuel inlet. So that's all for now. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more great content.